Okay, so this is the post flight. Uh, you've seen the unboxing, I hope. I just got done flying it. It was a ton of fun. It was a very good experience. I am taking out the propeller guards, which uh, I think I would have said I don't need them. And ooh, look at that. <laughs> I guess I did need them. Uh, I did. Um, I'm not real good at adjusting the trim. Unfortunately, I, I don't know what it is with me and trim on these little tiny things, but I can never get it to quit drifting. And this one, when it got in its mind to drift, it drifted. And once it drifted up to the gutters of the house, now it's holding it, the control stick all the way to make it go forward, and it was drifting backwards. So I caught it right as it bounced off the house. And then another time it drifted into a tree in the same manner and fell about seven feet to the driveway which is probably where this came from and probably while oh I, I take that back well now this this one is definitely bent they all have a little bend in them right here but this one's definitely bent right there um so anyway, I like this little drone. The battery life seemed to be the full 10 minutes, which is so much better than the six or five minutes that you get out of most. Um, I like it. I've got the battery charging up again. I never hooked the phone up so I couldn't use the camera, but I should have some Phantom 4 footage and some footage from the Osmo. To, um, to have showed you, uh, or to show you, I haven't decided if this part's going before or after. Okay, here we go. Uh, the battery is charged up. I think it's in my pocket. Whew, good thing. I'm gonna put it in the drone. I'm gonna put the drone on that water cooler just to give it a little bit of uh, stability. We're gonna try and fly it, and I'll try and get as much video of it as I can. Of course, it's gotten cloudy, which is what East Texas has been doing. Let me show you something. So, to put these propeller guards on, which I decided to do, it's real easy. These little inserts just pull out, and then you take the propeller guard. That's really easy, even though I'm not making it look easy, and they just snap in. Okay, so that, let's put the uh, battery in. And take it down. Okay, let me uh, turn the remote back on. You pair it by pushing up, it'll beep. You push it down, it'll beep. And now it should be ready to take off. Let's find out. Okay, let's press the take off button. Let's see if that works. Okay. So it's probably me. Oh, it really is me. You got to turn your drone on first. It's really hot out here. Let's try that again. <laughs> Push it up. Push it down. And bring it together. Let's try turning it off. You see the red eyes on that thing? That's really cool. Okay. I heard that. Up. Down. Aha. What do you know? Let's try the uh, auto takeoff. Okay. Let me try trimming it, see if that does any good. I don't know, maybe I'm just trimming it the wrong way. 
It's not bad. I mean, it's just... Yeah, that's better. Bring it back this way. So that's not too bad. Oh, come back here. That's not too bad at all. It's a little floaty, but not too bad. So let me turn it around. And away. That's, this is not bad at all. Let's see if I can take a picture. Okay, I don't know. Definitely wanting to float backwards and away. I don't know if I can. stabilize that or not. Let's see if it'll do the Yacht land thing. Well, that's a return to home. Let's try Auto land. So not bad. Um, it's a little hard to control simply because it's not built like a DJI, but it's a really pretty good little flyer. I, even I can fly it. Let's see if I can get it up out of the grass. See what happens if I press the uh, flip button. Nice. That's really wanting to kick forward. You can't see it probably. Let me pull it over here. That's really pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what happens in uh, headless mode. So that's always back, that's always forward. Woo! Almost ran in the house. It does not want to come forward. Had a near crash. Let's see if we're... Oh, I know we're not getting any video because my phone's not hooked up to it. Okay, crashed in the tree. Okay, minor crash, hit the tree and fell to the driveway about seven feet, didn't hurt anything. Let's see if it'll take off. Okay, it's turned on. Auto takeoff. Gain a little altitude.
really isn't bad. It does want to drift. I mean, as far as auto hover, it's not bad. But it's not great. It does like to lose altitude. The flipping is fun. Up. Well, a little bit of wind trying to blow it backwards. I'm fighting to get it back. I'm absolutely fighting. I do not want to. Woo! Come to daddy. Come to daddy. One thing's for sure, a little bit of wind, especially when this thing's already needing trimming, which I'm having a hard time doing, a little wind it was blowing it that way, and I could hold this forward and it still kept drifting. I finally had to chase it and crash land it. So, one more time, let's take off. It's actually a, a lot of fun. I'm having a good time with it. Okay, hopefully between the Phantom and the Osmo, I got enough footage to make this worthwhile. I mean, I, I really, I like this. I don't know how long it's been flying. The battery seems to be doing fine. It does drift backwards. That's without holding it at all. I'm sure the Phantom is picking up. It's just going backwards. A oh, little puff of wind hit. You can see it hold up. I'm coming straight forward. Uh, it's, the battery is gone. That's what it does when the battery is gone. It just falls, which is be nice if there's a little warning that the battery is about to go, but it, it doesn't give you that. So let me turn this off. <coughs> and uh, we'll see what we got. Thanks. But I should have some Phantom 4 footage and some footage from the Osmo to, um, to have showed you uh, or to show you. I haven't decided if this part is going before or after. Probably, I don't know. At any rate, um, definitely not a waste of money if, if you want an uh, inexpensive, pretty easy to fly a little drone. If I can fly it around the yard without any problems, you can too. So I'm going to put these little placeholders back in and uh, box it back up and put it away and start working on these videos and hopefully get something up there today. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, go watch uh, B on Droner. You can watch his after you've watched mine. If you liked, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down uh, subscribe if you would share I guess is a big thing look for me on Twitter I keep saying tweet and I'm sorry <laughs> anyway um, I know it's Twitter I don't, I, I'm just I've never been into social media stuff so I keep calling it tweet and everybody thinks it's really funny and it's embarrassing to me but that's just the way it is Feel free to drop me an actual written note at uh, Post Office Box 247, White House, Texas, 75791. If you do, I will, as long as it's kind, I'll read it on the air and respond to you. 
and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. As you can probably tell from this video, it was hot out there, and uh, I was immediately sweating. And uh, thank God for ice cold water. I think next I may be telling you about how you can be an idiot. Um, I have found out it's relatively easy to do, and we'll go from there. Have a great day, guys. Catch you later.